What's going on, iBob family? It's a brand new day that God has made. It's the first Sunday of the month of May, and at IBOC, we are choosing consistency in 2023. So, here we go, family. These are your tripping topics for the week. Teacher appreciation. Every day is a blessed day at the University of Dreams, and last week, our amazing educators at the U of D were celebrated and honored in a very special way. Every day featured amazing surprises live. Like some of the best chicken and fish in the state of Texas was brought to us by the Cajun Cowboy Food Truck. Man, when you eat this food, you'll be coming out feeling about 10 pounds heavier. This food was amazing, Brother Dozier. You are the man. Our teachers and staff were also blessed with the tastiest bun cakes, the best hot links, the sweetest funnel fries, and then we ended the week with more great barbecue from the Culinary Oasis Barbecue. Barbecue food truck. It was so amazing. And none of this would have been possible without our fantastic school directors and our amazing pastor. So thank you so much. If you are an educator, just know that IBOC cares about you. Don't forget to remember. Don't forget that we are not having baptism this afternoon. No baptism this afternoon because today at 4 p.m. we will be hosting the baccalaureate service for the senior class of Cedar Hill High School. Pastor Rush will be the keynote speaker and we always enjoy pouring into the lives of young people in our community. Don't forget about Mother's Day. We can't wait for Sunday, May the 14th because we get to officially celebrate all of of the wonderful mothers of IBOC. As a matter of fact, we want ladies of all ages to represent on that day by wearing the hat of your choice. That's right, from the youngest baby girl to the most seasoned woman, Mother's Day means hat day at IBOC. That's next Sunday for one service at 10 a.m. Don't forget about U of D graduation on Friday, May the 19th at 7 p.m. Everyone is welcome to join us for a graduation ceremony that you will never forget. The K4 and K5 scholars at the U of D will graduate under the big top of excellence. That's Friday, May the 19th at 7 p.m. And finally, and finally, a few weeks ago, we told you about an inspiring transformation project that our K3 scholars were working on. They were studying caterpillars and over the last several days, they were able to see the transformation with their own eyes. Good job, K3. And tell us one more time, what is that scripture that goes along with this lesson? That's what I'm talking about. Those are your trending topics for the week. And all the glory goes to God. It's graduation season again, and we are highlighting some inspiring members at IBOC who are moving to new levels of life. Today, we're going to focus on a young lady who was born premature. She weighed a little bit more than one pound, but in a few days, she's graduating with two degrees. family. My name is Ashley Day and this is my story. I've been a member here at IBOC ever since I was born. I've been in DeSoto ISD all my life and I am now graduating from DeSoto High School with my high school diploma as well as my associate's degree from Cedar Valley College. This school year has been not really hard but it wasn't easy either because we've had like a lot of college work to do as well as the high school work piling on top of that and then extracurriculars like choir or other things so it's been difficult but i've gotten here in the end and i can thank god for bringing me this far after i graduate from high school my plan is to go to tcu since i've gotten a full ride from them and I plan on majoring in psychology and possibly double majoring in psychology and criminal criminology so that I can become a criminal psychologist and then double minoring in Spanish and music. This church is honestly home to me. Um, 
I think it holds a special place in my heart because I've been here for so long and it's really the only place I've known and everybody who goes here is very loving and they take care of me and make sure that I'm doing okay. Whenever I walk in, they always say, hey little day, so <laughs> it's like everybody around here knows me so it's honestly a very safe environment from the outside world. I say Pastor Rush has helped me a lot because ever since like middle school and high school started, it's kind of been a hard work, like a hard road since all of the work started piling on. But every time I came to church every Sunday, it would be either a message or just like some sort of word that would fit my situation or problem in that moment. And it would always help me keep going for that week. And that's how I've gotten to where I am now. I would like to thank my dad and my mom for always being there for me and for sticking up for me and for teaching me how to become a better person. I'd also like to thank Christian because she's always like been the first face that I'm really familiar with when coming here and she always takes the time out to greet me and make sure I'm doing okay. I would also have to thank Tanae um, because she's also like the most familiar face that I remember when coming here and she would always come up and hug me and I would always walk up to her first and make sure where she was so that I wouldn't be alone or like feel alone in the church. I would say any advice I would give is to keep going no matter how hard it is because at first it was hard for me, but I made it this far. And a scripture I would like to give them is I can do all things through Christ who strengthened me because without God and Christ and the church, I would not have made it this far to where I am now. Ashley Day, we are super proud of who you have become and who you are becoming. Keep on giving God the glory.